Hello everyone, my name is Jordan, also known as Scraps, and for the second video of our Triple Tuesday, what we're going to be focusing on is kind of a lead, more of a growl or a bass that you can use in your instruments or that you can use during your songs or whatever. Anyways, I'm going to play a demo example of how this should sound and then we'll get on to making it. So it's quite of a powerful synth as you can see. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to create a combinator. So I'm going to right click, go to my utilities, and create a combinator. Inside this combinator, I'm going to right click again. I'm going to go to my instruments and create a maelstrom. Make sure it's initialized. You can do this by right clicking the patch or the instrument itself. I'm going to reset device. Anyways, what I'm going to attack first is our mod wheel, followed by modulation A, our oscillator A, oscillator B, our routings, our shaper, and our filter A. So what I'm going to do is for our first instance, I'm going to go to our modulation. For our mod wheel, I'm going to turn up the index all the way to 63, and that will do it. Next, for our modulation A, I'm going to set it to sync. I want to set the rate to 1 8, and I'm going to set it to a rising saw. So curve 12. Next, for our modulation B, just turn it off. For our oscillator A, we're going to change this to gain noise. That's fairly, that's almost all the way at the top. It's under FX, gain noise. I'm going to take my motion all the way down to negative 33. Hold shift if you can't get those finite numbers. I'm going to take it down an octave and turn on the routing the shaper A while we're here. Next, for our oscillator B, I'm going to turn on sine, I'm going to turn it on, I'm going to set it to our FM base. That's located pretty much all the way at the top, it's a third one down. I'm going to take my index, oh I'm sorry, for our oscillator A, I'm going to take the index all the way up to 127. For our index on our oscillator B, I'm just going to leave it at 0. I'm going to take the motion, however, all the way down to negative 33. And I'm going to leave it where it is for everything else and just route it to filter B. Make sure filter B is off and this little button to router to our shaper is on. Make sure shaper is turned on. And for the amount, leave it in the middle, leave it at sign. For filter A, just turn up the frequency all the way and make sure keyboard follow is on. So now, let's see where we are. In the same ballpark as our demo. That's perfect. After this, we're just going to master it and dirty it up a bit. So, after this maelstrom, I'm going to go to my studio effects and create a line 6 bass amp. I'm going to turn on the compressor, and that's about it. After this, I'm going to go to my creative effects and choose Scream 4 Distortion. I'm going to take the damage all the way down to 40. I'm going to take the damage type to 2. I'm going to turn the P1 and P2 all the way up. If you want some extra grittiness, I guess we can do this as well. So turn on body, turn the resonance all the way up, turn the scale to 22 and the auto turn that about 12 and set it to type E. Now if we have a listen and without the body so it adds quite a dramatic 
um, a very dramatic effect. So I'm going to go to my studio effects and create two M class equalizers. I'm going to turn on for all of my equalizers, I'm going to turn on low cut, P1, and P2. For our first frequency we're going to tackle and remove, we're going to set it to 4.853 kHz. 853, hold shift, if you can't get those very finite numbers, bring the gain all the way down and the Q all the way up. For our second I'm going, our second frequency we need to remove is going to be 9.639 kilohertz. Gain down, two all the way up. For our second equalizer, I'm going to take the first parameter all the way to 103 hertz. I can't remember if it's 103 or 103.1, 103.4, gain down, Q all the way up. Next, what we want to do is actually boost some of the lower end. So I'm going to bring my filter frequency all the way down to 55.4 hertz. I'm going to boost the gain to a, probably about 3.1 and turn the Q all the way up. Actually, let's make that 4.3. After this, create an M-Class Maximizer. Take off limiter. Put release to auto. Turn on soft clip. Set the amount to 127. And there you guys have it. Your very own Mach 2 synth. Check you guys out in the next video.